This is court storming, when college students rush onto basketball courts after a major upset or a rivalry win. This college tradition sparked controversy in North Carolina when Wake Forest fans stormed the court after beating a ranked Duke basketball team. The injured Duke player Kyle Filipowski said everyone knew it was coming but did nothing to stop it. Duke head coach John Shire responded to the incident in the post-game interview. A flip sprains his ankle. When are we going to ban court storming? Like, when are we going to ban that? Like, how many times does a player have to get into something where they get punched or they get pushed or they get taunted? Broadcasters joined the discussion as well. Whether people want to admit it or not, fans are not entitled to be on the court. They're not participants in the game. They're there as spectators. They're not part of the game. They're part of the atmosphere, but they're not part of the game. People took to social media as tweet after tweet after tweet followed the Duke Wake Forest game. Over here at Chapel Hill, we talked to the president of the Carolina Athletics Association, Elizabeth Cohn. She mainly works in ticketing for football and basketball events. She told us her thoughts on court storming. In general, we're told not to encourage it, but it is something that happens. Cohn said she understands the student perspective of wanting to storm the court. To students, it's typically seen as a fun college experience, not a safety issue. I don't think students think through that when they're, you know, trying to court storm and, you know, it's hard to think about that when you just won the game. She suggested colleges give students an alternative area to storm instead of the court, like Franklin Street for Chapel Hill. Yeah, I think we need to incentivize students away from the courts if possible. Like, for example, our students are running Franklin, so they're not as likely to run on, um, on the courts. I think more of just trying to have outside things that the students could um, run to theoretically would help kind of solve it, because otherwise, if there's nothing else to do, they're going to want to go to one place they can't celebrate. Billis had other ideas to end court storming. They can stop it. They can raise the fine level uh, to, to something that really makes sense. Or they can, hey, let them on, but don't let them off. And then cite everyone criminally or arrest them right there. UNC, Duke, and Wake Forest are part of the Atlantic Coast Conference. While most conferences impose fines for court storming, the ACC doesn't currently have any penalties in place. ACC Commissioner Jim Phillips said in a statement that they will continually assess with their schools the best way to protect their student athletes, coaches, and fans. I'm Emma Hall reporting. Middle of your screen.